So we're on Skylark, where we're meeting Captain Allen. One interesting thing is that Skylark is a sailing catamaran. And you can see it throughout the boat, so I'm very excited to see it. And we're meeting Captain Allen. How's it going, Captain? Hey, well, how are you doing? I'm all right, thanks. So uh, let's let's take a look yeah, around. Let's take a look. Well, what you see here is quite luxury. We have uh, entertainment. We call it an off deck. Uh, we have a refrigeration, ice maker, and uh, a little sink for uh, uh, drink, drinking water. It's all good. Uh, what separates this boat uh, from most other boats? It's a real sailing machine and uh, luxury in the same at the same time. So yeah. let's go and take a walk through. So when you say a sailing machine, what does it translate into? Speed? It uh, translates into safety mostly mm -hmm. because you're able uh, to sail away from any bad weather mm -hmm. and uh, even at anchor it's uh, very stable because of the fine hulls that doesn't bounce around I see. in the ocean. So, so that's how it works, like big catam uh, catamarans with big hulls will, uh, will get much more like shaky movement where, where this catamaran will be much more stable. Well, if you just think of it clearly, it's obvious if you have a beach ball floating in the ocean it bounces around. If you have uh, something a little finer like a stick, it floats um, more stably. Understood. So yeah. basically more peace during the night. Absolutely. That's what it translates into. Exactly. All right, great. So here we have, uh, we call this the pilot house and the concept about this is that it, you have 360 degree view. Mm -hmm in the ocean, uh, at Anchorage, so it's another safety uh, feature because, uh, let's face it, uh, uh, who wants to sit outside in, in really bad weather? You can drive the boat uh, inside and have a 360 degree view. Uh, oh, thanks God, the, the, the weather in the Caribbean is mostly like uh, agreeable, agreeable, right? But for, cool, cool. for that but reason, uh, we have the forward cockpit here, so uh, you can be involved with, with the uh, sailing. Uh, it's magnificent just steering the boat here and you have full view of the sails and uh, and uh, it's quite comfortable here. Many people ask uh, me, don't you get wet? And I'm like, well, yes, occasionally if you're going to weather, but uh, that's why you have a steering station inside. But I hear you. In good weather, you have a nice breeze uh, and uh, you have all the uh, controls at your fingertip. I see. So for the fans of sailing, the, the max speed was 23 knots, I remember? Well, coming down, uh, it's uh, sea trolls really coming down from uh, Rhode Island to here, uh, which, uh, uh, which is uh, 1,700 mm -hmm. nautical miles. Uh, we uh, averaged uh, 13 knots and uh, our maximum speed was 24. 24 knots and, of speed, wow. Uh, the boat's capable of doing more than that, but as it's sea trials, we're still uh, feeling our way around it. So I, I feel like it's a, a great thing, you know. You, you get these uh, like like sail like real sailing, you know, and not like just you have a sail, but you're really sailing. But at the same time, usually it's, it's the ladies that want the catamarans, or you know, like if if their members want like more peas and don't want to hill over and stuff. So so this is. Uh, ideal right like like it's the be best of both worlds it's a, it is and it's a very stable platform mm -hmm. even let's say uh, even uh, if you have uh, rough seas like you do in the caravan in between islands it can get quite rough it puts a lot of people off this one is very stable it doesn't have the issues of day to weather between islands mm -hmm. and i think the, the big thing is just you know on anchor just just you know, just l less vibration and less well, yeah, let's, let's less movement. Around, less and, uh, mm -hmm. and, you know, on top of that, we have lots of little areas where you're able to relax. We have the forward deck with some sun. We have this area here with some shade with a nice breeze. We have uh, you know dining inside, dining outside, in different areas. Sounds to, wonderful. To relax. Should we check out the cabins? Yeah, let's go. All right. Um, <laughs> let's do this. Let's yeah, this is, uh, if you walk straight down into the galley. Mm -hmm. And should we start here? Yeah, well, this is a guest uh, cabin. It's a, uh, quite comfortable. All the guest cabins are, are uh, en suite mm -hmm. with a uh, shower and a uh, head. Um, we do have air conditioning. Uh, so, uh, for those uh, few people that insist on uh, being freezing cold, uh, rem remembering about the cold climates, we can't put on air conditioning. I see. So air conditioning working well. 
I like the feeling that it feels like it is luxurious, but at the same time, like it, it really has this, you know, nautical like sailing style, right. you know, quite and, distinctly. And this is actually a gourmet galley. It has uh, some quite nice refrigerator. Um, right. It has a large freezer, and it has another refrigerator just for 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 greens. All greens. right. So so a lot of uh, place for for food. Yeah, for All good right. good food. All and, right. Uh, Actually, if you go, 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 if you want to see a little further, it's kind of interesting because the boat goes on forever. This is uh, this is a head for this uh, cabin. Mm -hmm. um, you have a little uh, single cabin for. Uh, but for this guests. during the charter, this would be a crew area, this right? Is, and this log would be. Uh, this is a crew area, and this oh, is let's, a cabin for. Let's just go to the, the guest cabins during the 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 charter. This there this area this would be cl closed, yeah. and uh, the, yeah. the, the, you know this bathroom would be. Uh, oh, for this yeah. cabin only. All right, that's that's. I that wanted to ask, right? And let's see if we can get some shot of the port cabins. So you might find some people down there. Right? Well, let's see which side, and let's yeah, go the other side. Pretty much the same. Yeah, uh, mirror image. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I really like the style. Like, is it? Like, I would call it a nest. Does it have a style? Like, like this no, thing? well, it's all functional. It's a yeah. bulkhead, so if you remove that, it's a strength. I imagine kids love it, right? Like, it kind of looks like a type of a like a treehouse kind of thing, right? Yeah, and actually, even adults do. This, we had a lady came here. She said, "I feel quite at home in here. I all feel right. like jumping into the bed." Let's wait for the switch and let's see the last cabin. All right. So Good should we switch? Yes, I like that there? description. The nest. All right. Yeah, that was very smart. I was like, <laughs> I mean, there probably is better terminology, <laughs> but. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Shelley. Nice, nice to meet you. Hey, hi, I'm Randy. Hey, Randy. Alan. Alan, pleasure to meet you. You too. That's, uh, that's our quarters, that's the captain's quarters. All right, so this yeah, would be this, the same thing, same right? Thing. So so basically on both sides, this gets this, uh, closed, this, locked, and, and this, this is this, for use. This belongs, so this becomes this cabin. Understood, understood. So I, yeah. I see how it goes, like right. continuous thing, and, and it can be adjusted, uh, to, but usually uh, it, it works that way. Right. Awesome. All right, so Captain Alan, thank you for, you know, the thank opportunity you. to see the boat she's beautiful and uh, a sailing boat i love that beautiful well i hope to uh, have you on board sometime awesome <laughs> <laughs>